Welcome to part 3 of this annoying tutorial. Thanks. Let's get going peeps. We now want to render out our clip from here so click on output to and then you got a selective folder to where you want your clips to be rendered to. I will select my folder after effects clips. Name it to whatever you want and click save. Go to lose list and just check so the quality is set on best. Now click on best settings, set the quality to best and the resolution to full. 24 is good for the frame rate, I used to set it to 30 though. Click on custom, if you'd like to set a time limit for the clip, if you'd set the end to, let's say 6, then your clip will basically stop rendering, when it has come to 6 seconds. Click on OK, and let's render it out peeps, hit the render button. Now, the digits that you can see here in the middle of the screen, tells you for how much of the clip that's rendered out. You can at any time just stop the rendering process by just hitting stop. Your clip will not be lost by doing that. Ok, great, that's good enough. Let's click on stop. Go to the folder, wherever you saved the file to. Mine's in After Effects Clips. Drag it from there directly to Sony Vegas. You see I actually recorded this tutorial three times because my recording program had some issues. That's why I have some of these clips rendered out as you can see. Pause the video, if you'd happen to not see what I'm doing. Pause is the key to success peeps. Our clip isn't covering the whole field of view. Click on the pan slash crop icon, set the maintain aspect ratio to no. Hold your mouse pointer over the left corner of the footage until you see that icon. Drag it a bit to the right like so. We just made. So the clip fades in. Let's add some music to it. Just drag the music that you want to Sony Vegas. Some hip hop is never wrong. Alright, sweet, word. If you'd like to make the clip shorter, select the spot where you want to cut it. And click on S on your keyboard. Just like that, word. Now go to the tab video FX, there should be an effect called gradient map, add the sunset effect to the clip, drag it over to our footage. There should be a keyframe for the first frame, drag it to the end of the timeline, change the mode to add, make another keyframe, like that, and set the amount to zero. This will do, so the effect fades in. Great, now go ahead, and close that window. Guess what? We are almost done. For show, click on the timeline, hold in left mouse button and drag over to the beginning to select what we want to render out. File, render as, and now, these settings are for 360p to 480p on it. They aren't the best settings but they work. Name it to anything but the first color that comes into your mind, cause that's just stupid. Select Windows Media Video, W, M, V, Click on custom. Set the video rendering quality to best. Click on the tab audio, and you can see what settings I'm using. The video tab, use CBR, DVD quality, frame rate 30, video smoothness should be set to sharpest. Ok great, let me say it one more time. Congratulations and celebrations, click on save, and your project will be rendered out. We are done. Ha 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 used to tell me these crazy things She used to tell me my daddy was an evil man She used to tell me he hated me But then I got a little bit older and I realized she was the crazy one But there was nothing I could do or say to try to change it Cause that's just the way she was